Hey YouTube, welcome to my shop. Special hey to mom and dad, love you both. Main reason I'm doing these. But uh, since uh, since other people are watching, I thought I'd show you one of my latest little projects that I did uh, uh, for one of my grand my grandsons. A uh, little push mower. I got this idea off of. Uh, you know the internet like everything else almost so I went in on I'm trying to learn SketchUp so I went in and I tried to put something together in SketchUp that I thought would work and this is what I came up with now I don't think it's made out to the golden ratio or anything but I, I hope the little man likes it um, I put bells in it and a few eggs in it uh, I, I did a few uh, engineering problems uh, I uh, I measured everything right, and I, I I decided I saw these eggs, and I said those would be kind of nice to put in there, paint them up, put them in there, but they were just like an eighth of an inch too big, and they would the wheel would spin. So I got to take out the axle and use my spoke shave, and I just uh, took that one uh, one inch dowel down to about half inch, a little more, and now it uh, everything seems to move along pretty good. So uh, I, the, the wheels were made of uh, red oak. I've got some uh, uh, walnut veneer to uh, some plywood just to give it a little strength. Uh, this is some, I believe, maple uh, that I had left over. This is some the walnut that I had left over from my seventh grade wood shop project and uh, uh, the dowel same as the axle. Didn't take, let's put it this way, it took me probably three times longer to, to make it on SketchUp <laughs> than it did to make it, you know, uh, outright. So it's pretty easy, you know, and, and I hope the little guy will like it. The only thing I gotta say is he may break it and half the time it took uh, for me to make it, but if, if he had as much fun breaking in it as I did making it, well then the kid and I are on the same page. So anyway, a couple of other things I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about some updates in my shop. Um, you know, as I, as I move over from round one automobiles into round two woodworking from, uh, uh, woodworking from a minor hobby, and automobiles to a major hobby. I, I, I had to flip them around. Uh, I still love automobiles, but you know, there was a day that I, you know, oh, I, I got to replace that transmission. Oh boy, you know, Saturday morning, pop a beer, get under there and do the work and have fun, you know. Now, if I wanted to crawl into that car, I'd, I'd need a couple of shots of whiskey, a couple of volumes, and a couple of. Uh, painkillers to boot before I could get under there. No matter how much I love cars, cars are not worth that. So, um, you know, I, I'm, uh, as I uh, change my, uh, my shop around, you know, as the engine hoist leaves, the uh, table saw comes out of the shed, you know, as the motor mounts uh, get sold off, uh, uh, compound sliding miter saws replace it. So uh, when you have to, you know, when you have to share rooms with hobbies, you know, cars, I'm not going to abandon my cars. I've got too much work in them. I'm not going to let them sit out in the, the weather. I'd rather, I'd rather sell them than that. So I've just got to work around it. And I've seen a lot of guys that, there's this guy called, I believe his name is Carl Holgram. He's got a, a, a shop similar to mine where he has to park his cars in, and he's got it set up beautifully. And, and this guy must have been an engineer or something in his daytime job because uh, he, he uh, does some good stuff. I'd look him up if, if you want some good ideas. But um, the way uh, my shop works, let, let, let me uh, give you an example. Now, if you've seen my other uh, uh, videos, you know that I bought this off of, uh, or I built this off the plans from Woodsmith, 
magazine or the television show on PBS. Uh, it's got the, the adjustable outfeed on. It's got the vacuum in it. And then up there in the cabinets, uh, all my, my buffers, my uh, wire brush, my uh, sanders, my scroll saws, all those are on boards that can be, uh, you know, uh, bolted down tight on that workstation. Now, I um, I also had my my miter saw, my sliding mi miter saw up in the cabinet that would go on that, and I found that there was a couple of problems with that. And uh, number one, it was heavy to get in and out of that cabinet all the time. And number two, although I like the miter saw, that sucker is. I mean, it makes a whirlwind of dust. Uh, worse than my table saw, worse than the band saw, everything. So, um, I wanted something to, something different. So, I what I've done is, if you've seen my my uh, any videos previously, this toolbox here was setting in the corner where that toolbox was, and it was setting on this stand that I got for nine bucks at the uh, Goodwill so I said well you know I think I'm gonna put my my saw on that you know change something some things around so I don't have to bust my back every time uh, to get the saw out and uh, but as I say even if I roll this out to the opening of the garage and, and and I saw some stuff. I mean, sawdust go, goes all over. So I was on a couple of sites. One was J J Bates Custom Creations. He has a real nice stand that he built off of somebody else's design. He gives the name of the person that he he uh, took it from. I guess borrowed it from or whatever. But of course, he made his different. And then there's another guy that uh, Carl Ogram, uh, he made one similar. But uh, what it is is it's got, um, you know, it's got uh, shelves that come up from the sides, and uh, and a bonnet kind of around the back to trap the sawdust. So uh, you, you know the, the shelves on the sides make it so you don't have to have a dedicated eight foot of wall space for your. Uh, for your miter saw. So uh, what I did is I went on SketchUp again and uh, you know I just did a rough idea on how I'm going to do this. Um, you know th there'll be a board here that swings up that goes level to my saw. Now I'm not good enough on SketchUp to to uh, draw the saw yet, uh, but I'm sure Jay Bates could do it. He knows SketchUp a lot, and, and that's why I'm trying to learn SketchUp. Uh, if you want to learn how to do SketchUp, go over and see that kid. Oh, I shouldn't call him a kid. I guess my age, when somebody's younger than your son, he's a kid. But but he knows SketchUp pretty good. So and, and it's fun. It it makes it fun to to do projects when you can kind of do him up uh, you know he has a little bench that he did on SketchUp so you know I, I've been working on it I'm getting better I can't say that uh, I'm real good at it but I can 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 slop through it so anyway that's going to be the plan with the the the, the miter saw is uh, I have put uh, you know the sides on it already and I'm getting ready to to uh, set the mounts on and then uh, another new thing in my shop is the band saw now this is a central machinery uh, harbor freight and um, you know it's a it's a cheap saw you know, uh, I got it uh, for less than 300. I think with the 20% discount, I, I got it for like 284 or something, you know. And uh, I mean, the next saw up was well twice that, you know. And I just wanted a 
a 63 and a half inch saw that went round and round and this does it now there's a guy on YouTube I think Snodgrass his name I mean how can you forget that name but uh, Mr. Snodgrass I believe works for Carter Tools and um, he does a thing on band saws on how to adjust them and I followed his rules that were not quite like everybody else says to adjust them and that saw I love it now if you look at I mean <laughs> uh, you know for the last 60 some you know 40 years you know if I to cut a cut a you know a curve in wood it was with that old 1960s craftsman uh, jigsaw and that was my uh, experience with cutting curves well you know to fire that bandsaw up is like crawling into a jet aircraft fighter plane I mean it is sweet cuts nice and uh, you know I did some uh, as I said I did some uh, re-sign of some oak on the um, on the the side right there I, I veneered it to some plywood for some strength so the the saw cuts real nice um, the only problem I have if you see that piece of green wood up there or the end green that's uh, uh, eight quarter walnut that I did uh, my seventh grade wood project on and this little um, this little push more but you know eight quarters cut that's about as thin as a board as it comes you know and that won't resaw the whole board so that's one th thing that you know would be nice to have a 16 or an 18 inch bandsaw but still after using a jigsaw for all these years that bandsaw I really like and if you don't have a bandsaw start out cheap like this get get to know it and uh, I think that you know if you want to move on up you can but uh, really this thing does some, some some good stuff for me and that's about the update on the shop you know the um, why I was so doggone uh, interested in this uh, this uh, miter st saw stand is just I mean the dust is horrid uh, so I got the I got the um, a nice um, you know two horsepower uh, dust separator now I'm gonna get a better uh, filter one from Win environmental and I'm gonna change the stand around and actually I hope to put that and my uh, uh, co air compressor I hope to build a little room outside of the garage and if I could put both of these things in there it will give me a lot more room and then of course right now I'm saving for a, a new table saw this is an old craftsman's contractor saw and uh, I mean it, it was made when uh, the user's responsibility for safety was the user's responsibility for safety I mean it has no splitter no riving knife no guard I mean this thing has a spinning blade and you're supposed to keep away from it and I do you know I don't mind saying uh, my antenna go up when I work on that thing so anyway I'm I'm looking at a a grizzly with a router table accessory I sure would like to have the saw stop but I don't know you know I'm gonna have to think about it if I want to save a few more months for a saw stop you know so I'm getting close to the grizzly right now and and it's 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 pretty sweet so anyway that's my shop the way it looks right now so until I change something else or till I work start on a new project which will be that right there and um, I'm still working on SketchUp uh, on that making curves and circles and and uh, things like that I, I gotta fight with and 
but I'll get it I'll get it so anyway I wish everybody a good day and uh, you know if you uh, I think I, I hope the little man likes that you know he'll have to grow up a little bit I think he's only one so he's gonna be be a few months but boy months fly fly by so I think he can push it or something maybe I'm wrong mom will tell me all right everybody you take care have a good day we'll be safe and we'll see you later